channel and also over on Instagram. If you want to check out for more content then the links are down below. So thank you so much for clicking on this video today. This is definitely going to be a massive update on this channel on what's happened in my life recently and how my diet has essentially changed. So this is obviously the Get Shredded series and I'm still continuing down that path. After last week's video, I decided to take a diet break where I basically enjoyed all sorts of food and I didn't track calories for a couple of days. And within those few days, I quickly began to realize how much I had been restricting myself, how little I had been enjoying my food and how many things I was missing in my diet purely because of the calories, despite really needing them. For example, I wasn't eating enough fruit because I wasn't able to track it into my calories. I wasn't able to take in enough fiber because again, I couldn't track it into my calories. And I just really took a couple of days to reevaluate what I've been doing, where I had come, and also what I wanted to do in the future. And I really kind of had a light bulb moment where I thought to myself, do you know what? I really need to do what makes me happy in life and at this specific moment, tracking calories is not making me happy, it's making me feel restricted. So I just wanted to catch you up on what I'm doing now. I'm not tracking calories. I have decided to intuitively eat. I feel I have enough knowledge and have been doing this long enough to be able to know what food I need to be putting into my body and what are some kind of really simple switches I can make so I'm still in a deficit. So... That is where I'm currently at. Intuitively eating now, not tracking calories. So if you want to know how to intuitively eat, I'm going to do a full day of food on here where I'm going to explain everything I'm doing to try to intuitively eat to a fat loss. So I have also put a lot of videos down below in the description that really helped me on this journey. Because as soon as this happened and I realized I wanted to intuitively eat, I went straight to YouTube and I really struggled to find content on intuitively eating and actually content that included scientific papers on calorie deficits and how you can basically sustain a calorie deficit because there is a lot of evidence at the moment that calorie counting doesn't actually help with long-term weight loss. It can help with short-term weight loss. However, individuals usually then go back to their usual weight after their deficit ends because the deficit was so large. So I'm also eating whole foods diets. So I'm trying to make everything myself at home. I'm trying to add loads of fiber into my diet. So at least 30 grams a day because that's super important for gut health. And actually since incorporating at least 30 grams of fiber into my diet, I have massively reduced the amount of bloating and sort of gut symptoms that I've been experiencing in the last few weeks and also just listening to bodily cues so all I'm essentially doing is eating when I'm hungry, ensuring I have protein in every single meal, making sure I'm making foods I love and enjoy, I'm using plenty of seasoning, I'm using oil and yeah that's basically what I'm doing so I thought I would update you on where my deficit's going so I am still in a deficit but it's going to be a very very slight deficit which means I'm going to be doing this very very long term so yeah so this is going to be a full way in a day so I'm going to take you through what foods I'm making I'm actually meal prepping to go to work so I'll take you through a nice quick lunch that I'm going to be taking into work and yeah so let's go and make some breakfast so we are going to be making one of my favorite breakfasts at the moment it is a protein cheesecake recipe. So essentially, all you're going to need is a little ramekin, like I have here. And we're going to be using Weetabix as the base because Weetabix is really filling, nice complex carbohydrate, will keep me full for very long. 
and digests easily. And then for the middle, we're going to be using some yogurt and protein powder. And then I'm also going to make it into like a banoffee flavor today by using dates to make kind of this caramel almost layer and banana. And then we're going to load the cheesecake on top. So I love this recipe because you can change up the ingredients to basically make it different and it never gets boring. So you'll see here that I'm gonna be adding a lot of fruit. I'm trying to aim to have at least 20 different fruit, veg, nuts, seeds by the end of the week because that is the optimum amount of fiber you want to be adding into your diet. You don't want to just be adding loads of fiber into your diet from one thing. You want to add it from several fruits, veg, seeds, just so the bacteria in your gut basically have a lot of food. So let's make this. Okay, so we have our ramekin and this is and then I have some wheat bits here. It's literally so simple for the base. All you do is crumble your wheat bix up into the jar. I usually just have two wheat bix because that fills me up. Then I'm just going to add a teaspoon of sugar because I do like the wheat bix to just be slightly sweet. Okay, and then I'm just going to add some almond milk. And then we're just going to mash it all together. And then I'm going to use some date syrup. This is a really, really good whole food substitute for like maple syrup or golden syrup. It is basically 100% dates. It tastes absolutely lovely. And yeah, it's just a really good whole foods, unprocessed option if you're looking to avoid processed food. So I'm just gonna top this off with some date syrup to make our banoffee part. And I'm also going to add a date. I'm just going to add some banana on top. Okay, and the cheesecake part is so easy. Just grab your yogurt. I'm just using some Outpro plain yogurt this is no added sugars so we're going for as little processed food as we can and i'm probably going to use about a third of the container then we're just going to add a really small scoop of protein i'm using esn just add some sugar-free syrup give that a good mix and then all we're going to do is just layer this on top. So I'm not really that hungry at the moment. I've literally just had my oxy shred. So I'm going to let that sit in the fridge until I'm ready. But essentially what I've been doing is really listening to my hunger cues. That has been my main driver. So I realized how much I was emotionally eating and also eating according to the time. We are not doing that anymore. <laughs> I'm literally just feeling when I'm hungry and if it's a sensation that lasts more than five minutes that's usually a good sign and then I go and make food and I eat simple as that and I'm also with my meals really trying to just sit down chew slowly really taste the food that I'm eating enjoy the food that I'm eating if I'm getting too full I will stop eating the meal that is also super important I used to be someone who used to want to clear her plate every single time and even though that's really good it's also not really what your body wants you to do you need to be stopping if you are filling yourself up and you're too full and you don't want to finish your meal that's completely fine and actually that's your body telling you to stop eating so so those are a couple of the things that I've also been doing I'm now meal prepping to take lunch into work. I have some sweet potato and chickpeas that I've already prepared. But I'm going to make a lovely kale salad to go along the side of this. And then I've also made a tofu dressing that I will put all of the ingredients down below for, but it's essentially half a block of firm tofu, a whole block of silken tofu, and loads of flavorings, including nutritional yeast thyme, um, some ginger, lemon, just to kind of make it into this cheesy kind of creamy sauce. 
So yeah, I'm going to make my kale salad now. So we've obviously got my kale salad that I've just meal prepped. It's literally just kale, courgette, sweet potato, chickpea for the protein. This is just a lovely tofu dressing that I made. So that's going to be my lunch. And then I've also got a little snack box. So this is a protein cookie, which I copied from a girl called Layla Hannon on Instagram. So I'll put a link down below for the cookies. She said they were the best and Honestly, they are literally the best protein cookies I've ever had. I'm definitely going to be making her recipe again. Just so yummy. So, and then I've just got some fruit. So, strawberries and blueberries. But you see how I'm trying to add a really large variety of fruit and veg into all of my meals, even in my snacks, just because I really want to bump that fibre up there. I want to use it for my gut health and all of those good things. So, I'm going to head off to work and I'll catch up with you after work for dinner. Hey guys, so as you can probably tell, I've just come back from work and I'm pretty tired. If you're going through this journey and you want advice, you want tips or tricks, you want to listen to someone who's gone through the exact same thing, then please comment down below because I'll message you back. And if there's anything in these videos that I can provide to make things better for you or even to help you through this journey then just let me know and I'll try to make a video on it because like I said I really really struggled finding good videos that had quality research to back them as well on intuitively eating and I feel like I'm in a really balanced place now that I've made this commitment to myself. That all being said, it's now time for dinner and I've just been absolutely loving trying every single recipe that I saw whilst I was restricting myself and just making them. So tonight I'm making this satay aubergine recipe and what I'm basically going to do is bake the aubergine in oil. <laughs> like we just appreciate that I'm using oil again and not even feeling guilty about it. But yeah, we are using oil on aubergine. We're baking it in the oven. I'm adding TVP. If you've seen my previous videos, I've used TVP quite a lot in my previous videos because it's such a great protein source. It's basically made of soya and it's just super, super simple to make. So I'm going to make some TVP to crumble on top. So there's our protein. And then the satay peanut sauce is going to be our healthy fats, but also, it's just gonna be nice. So let's make this satay aubergine recipe. I'm super excited because I love aubergines. And yeah.
So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to like and subscribe down below. It really helps out with the channel. And I hope you've enjoyed this new type of content. I will be showing more content like this in terms of whole foods and intuitively eating. So please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.